morning, friends. I'm sitting out here by the lake this morning, looking at the lake. Listening to the birds, having my morning coffee, and editing a video for you on my iPad. Many mornings, one of our friends and I go for a morning walk, and yesterday she took me to a path up in the mountains that I had never been to before. It's not a wonderful time to hike up in the mountains. It's much more appealing to me in the summertime when during the rainy season the vegetation is lush and green and alive. This time of the year it's dead and dormant and dry. But it was an interesting walk. I didn't start out to make a video but I did have my iPhone with me. Some of it might be a little shaky, but that's what's going on with you and me today. My morning walk up into the mountains above Ajijic, Mexico. Enjoy. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Most of the time we walk from our neighborhood, but today we drove a couple of blocks up the mountain from the Carretera, the main highway through town. That is blue sky. Taking a hike up a hill here this morning just for the exercise, but my neighbor and I have found a path that she's been on, but I've never been on this path before. View of the lake. It's the path that we're coming up. That's our friend Carol. We hear that would be an Oriole nest. Bag nest, we call them. I'm very anxious for the rain to start so that it turns into greenery and lushness here instead of dry and dead. Yeah, we certainly do have seasons. We have the dry season and the wet season. I should tell you about an incident in my childhood and it will become obvious why I tell this story towards the end of this video. I grew up in Mission, South Dakota on the Rosebud Indian Reservation in the nearest town where there was a doctor or anything like a 
department store was Valentine, Nebraska, 32 miles away. And I got a job uh, at about the age of 10 to become the newspaper delivery person for the Sunday Omaha World Herald. And my father had to drive down to meet the train to get the Sunday papers every Sunday and then back home, that's 64 miles round trip, so that I could deliver the papers. And of course it snowed in the winter time and it was very difficult sometimes to trudge through the snow with the papers. So mm. sometimes my mom would drive me around to deliver them. Everybody in town took the paper except for two people because my mother called everybody in town and said, Jerry will be bringing you the paper. The two ladies in town who didn't take the paper were Veda Buell and Old Lady Hoffine. Old Lady Hoffine ran the telephone switchboard. And uh, that was the house that uh, threw the cat in my face, scratched my mask off. When I went trick-or-treating for Halloween, and my mother went back later and showed me how to soap windows. Veda Buell, I don't know why, but she and Mom never got along. Anyway, there came to pass that a big collie dog came running out and scared the heck out of me, got me down in the snow and mauled me, and ever since then I've been a little afraid of dogs. Well, here's a fork in the road. You want to go straight ahead on level, or do you want to go up the hill? No way am I going to go up another hill. Okay. So we think this is a geocache. Is there a thing? Uh, aren't they usually hidden better? Yeah. <laughs> they are. I don't know. I think it's. Uh, I think somebody took it and ran. No, I think there's a animal that lives in there, and somebody was feeding it. Oh, that was like a cave. Oh. I hate to get in. Hey. You coming? I don't know. And this looks like another place for an animal to live. And uh, curiously enough, there's another cat food can here. Hmm. Well, this is interesting to me. That's a dead cactus. It's broken off and fallen down. And it's got its head hanging. But then, at the very tip, there's a brand new leaf. Oh, we've come to a good place to turn around, but we've finally gotten down to the creek bed. This time of the year it's dry, but in the rainy season, this will be Gushing. a waterfall. And the falling water has dug out a really deep hole there before it goes on down the arroyo towards Ahihik. There is another bag nest up here. Oh yeah. Right there, Orioles. Are they Baltimore Orioles? You're the bird watcher. No, they no? don't have Baltimore Orioles here. What kind of Orioles do they have? Altima, uh, black crested, um, not black crested, black, oh dear. Mm -hmm. There are four different Orioles that we have here. And they do build those bag nests, right? Yeah, they all do, yeah. You are interested in what? The fact that Oh, the tree was in bloom and there's no water up here? Yeah. Yeah, well, I guess plants have a way of working that out. So 
on my way back down. What do we see in the path down here? Two huge dogs. Well, they've just alerted to us. Tail's wagging, that's a good sign. They are big. There doesn't seem to be any owner around either. Oh, there's three of them. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, here comes the alpha. Hello. No, 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 go out. No. Ah, hello. Hello. Oh, here comes another one. Oh. Yeah. Hello. Well, that's uh, about as much dog. Oh, I just saw a big white one go past. It's about as much dog content as I need for today. My heart is racing. Hello. Hello. Oh. Well, you're just kind of sitting there waiting for a pet or what, huh? Yeah, may I pass, please? Okay. Okay. I'm uh, mildly afraid of dogs. Oh, and here's another one. And uh, they've all got collars. Hello. My heart is racing a bit. Huh? Yeah. That's why I have them with me. <laughs> why are you having them with you? <laughs> I am. I'm shaking. Oh, no. Yeah. I'm, yeah well, I'm, I think if I wouldn't know any better, but people know me because I come up here yeah. every day with them. Well, I have a friend that's with me, and she's seen them before, too. But oh, okay. I'm mildly afraid of dogs. Oh, and really? the big one came up and why looked at me and growled. And why did you get bitten occasionally by dogs? I think when I was a kid, I was a newspaper delivery boy. Oh, yeah, they didn't like you. And some big collie got me down oh. in the snowbank once. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, it was surprising me. I was bitten numerous times, once by a shepherd and then once mostly by chihuahuas. What's your name? <laughs> Ellie. Ellie, yeah. I'm going to ask you a question, Ellie. Yes. I have a YouTube channel. Do you mind if I put you on it? Me? Yes, you. Looking like that? Beautiful. Yes, looking exactly like that. You're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was the answer, yes? Yes. Okay, because yeah. I like to have dog content in my videos, and boy, have oh. I got dog content today. <laughs> yes, yes, you have. <laughs> Are you doing those cans? Yes, I bring empty cat food cans, and scatter, about 14, and scatter oh them goodness. around my walk up here uh -huh. so that the critters that come at night have some water to drink. That's a lovely thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. There it's are, I'm sure, uh, possums and rats and mice and squirrels. Yeah, well, you don't need to feed, feed the rats, but the they, rats are okay. They have to eat too. <laughs> and as long as they live up here and not in my house, I'm okay with it. <laughs> right. But the other day I was putting out, filling one of those cans with water. Yeah. And uh, immediately a bird dove down. I wasn't even a foot away from it and drank out of it. So you're feeding the birds as well? Well, they, everything needs water. That's what I don't like is six months of no water here, you know. But the animals did get used to it. Well, I don't know how they, how how they, they survive. Get, yeah. A lot of ho guys said they had horses up on the mountain and a lot of them got killed because they would go down, try to get down to the lake to get <laughs> water. And when they crossed the Carretera, that was in years past. I don't know if there's still horses that live up in the mountains. But, well, but I know there are wild dogs up here, mountain dogs, and I feed those. I'm so glad that those were not one. No, no, no. My dogs are, are very social. It's just the big one who is really not mine. He belongs to a court uh, detailing place down the street. Oh, uh, the big brown one with the chain collar. Yeah, he... That's the one that walked right up to me and growled. Yeah. Like... He, <laughs> he spends every night with me and yeah? every weekend with Guess me. Guess what? I think that he's your dog. And then when we come back from the mountains, he goes back to his papa. Wonderful. Oh, cool. and, yeah. and, this one, and this one here is your pig? Yeah, look at that. Because he's fat? 
Yeah. No, because he rolls in everything. Look oh. <laughs> when we get home, I have to brush him. The other ones are fine. And every month they all get a bath. How many Same dogs time. do you have? I have five. Five. And that sixth one is not mine. And we're going to play. Okay, okay. Go play, guys. Go. Go ahead, just pull this out of your way. Oh. You know, hitting the sticks is part of the drama. Oh. <laughs> oh, speaking of drama, must have been a cow here. Or two. Don't hurt your foot. And a baby cactus. A baby cat? Cactus. Cactus. A baby cactus, don't kick it with your sandaled foot. Should be wearing my A liter shoes. Well, it's a viewpoint. And we're back at that bag nest. That bag nest wasn't in the pr prickly pear. It was undoubtedly up there in the tree and has fallen into the prickly pear. Oh, the shade and the breeze feels really good. I'm taking a picture of this because it's a hakaranda and it's in full bloom. And because up there, there's a huge bird. It's like a condor. It's huge. A wingspan probably uh, six feet. And we're back at the car. Yes, we drove three blocks up the hill before we started our walk. <laughs> well, back home editing with you. I hope this was a pleasant diversion from what's going on in your world. And I guess it doesn't matter what part of the world you're in, it's going on. So far we're not seeing very much of the virus here, but of course it's coming. Oh my gosh, I see a butterfly. Hang on. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up and please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.